Hey guys, I'm Chesapeake. This is Chesapeake Hammock and Outdoors, and this video is going to be on two products that I just received. One, I've got the Warbonnet Superfly with dual internal pole mods and a custom stove jack hot tent modification. And I've also got the Hammock Gear 20 degree Econ incubator. So let's take a look at them. So, first off, we'll start with the outside of the tarp. I believe this is the Sil Poly. I'm not sure. This came from eBay. I'll have to take a look. I'll post the stats in the uh, description. It's got dual external panel pulls on each side and also has the in dual internal pole mods, which I'll show you on the inside. You've got line locks on the corners. It, and it came with some just standard line, but I added reflective olive glow wire on here. And then it just goes down to a loop and then my stake. I might change this part eventually, but I'm not sure. But for right now, I've just got the, uh, the glow wire on my Appalachian Hammock Hex Tarp. I've got detachable lines. So I might do that to keep the lines separate. That way when I put it in snake skins, you don't have a rat's nest of lines all jumbled up. You can just easily take unhook the line from the tarp and with the pack hooks that are on there. And you know, you've got them detached and you can just really quick skin your tarp. I'll take a look at the, the stove jack. It's got a Velcro flap right here that's seam sealed on the inside to keep rain from getting in so you pull that back and it's got another flap and then the hole this is siliconized fiberglass so it's heat resistant heat proof on the inside, that's just the door folded back, so normally it wouldn't be uh, covered like that there. And is it, this flap is fully detachable. So, waterproof. I've had it out in the rain and I didn't get any water in at all leaking in this spot. So that's the stove jack. I have yet to get a stove for it, but uh, I'm kind of looking at it right now. So I'll move back a little bit so you can get a good look at it in uh, porch mode as far as the ridge line goes I'm just using my Dutch ridge line zing it with Prussix there's the Dutch wasp and on the other side you've got the duck Dutch hook that connects around the tree and I just got it connected with some mini be micro beaners to the split rings on the ends of the tarp there's the ridge line. Now my my other tarp, I added line locks right here on each side to have a split ridge line. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to do that with this tarp yet, but for now this is the way I've got it set up and it's working good. You can see an interior view of how much room it gives you, having the dual pole mods. They are, um, they connect to, there's a piece of shot cord right here that goes up to the ridge line to keep the poles from sliding. It keeps them right nice and centered on both sides there. And then there's an internal pocket right here, which also serves as a good spot to store your guy lines. So you can use the poles or you can use the panel poles if you'd like, either way. You can see right here, that's where the panel poles are. Here's the end of the doors. You got big triangle rings there. And then I've just got some long shot cord on one and then a small shot cord loop on the other. And then I've just got a loop through with the knot holding it to keep my doors back. Um, but other than that, I'll give you a look at the other side. 
you can see how here it is blowing in the wind pretty windy out today and you still got that structure keeping it from blowing in on you there's the line lock with the reflective glow wire it's kind of fell out but uh, you get a lot of more usable room having the dual pole mods inside there again there's the uh, the ridge line Dutch hook with the night eyes micro beaner on there and the lash itself shackle and then my hammock this is my hammock gear zipper bug net hammock so I've got the hammock gear tree straps the uh, daisy chain hammock gear beaner down into the continuous loop and then you got the hammock itself it's got the tool side pull outs you can see in my other videos there's zipper pulls the bug net zip zips all the way back stays attached to the hammock but it it stores inside this bag on the inside and there's just a small tiny gap in there but when the bug nuts in it it closes it up unlike on my chameleon where there's a significant gap for bugs to get in so that's the main reason i got this hammock i like my chameleon but this one is a lot better for me it gives me more peace of mind i guess you'd say this end is completely sealed where it zips around this peak and um, you got your am steel ridge line glow in the dark zipper pulls and then something i did try i've got a really lightweight micro beaner attached to the d-ring on the under quilt to keep from sliding around and this inner under quilt is the hammock gear econ 20 degree got this off of ebay it's a long um, this is the, the first long quilt i've bought i um, got a really good deal on it uh, i can't think offhand but it was it was basically a steal um, it does have four ounces of overstuff which i probably wouldn't have ordered if i got it from hammock gear but the price I needed a 20 degree under quilt so you know I wasn't going to be too picky when one came up. It's standard olive green and black ion fabric. I don't have the weight on hand but you know you've got the D-rings going all the way around which are there to give you another option if you're having trouble get it dialed in. You can take these with some shot cord and loop it over your ridge line. Not tight just enough to get it pulled up. And here's the end. You got your draft baffle, just like on any, any other hammock gear under quilt. But you can see how this is a pretty lofty quilt. Not nearly the same amount of loft that my minus 10 degree has, but um, with four ounces of overstuff, you know, th there's an argument to be made how much warmth will overstuff give you. Um, I'm of the camp to where I think it might give you some warmth, but for me, I think it's more of a loft issue where you're going to maintain loft longer in um, long, like if you're using it for multiple days with, you know, you're going to get moisture in it um, and eventually your down is going to collapse from that moisture or precipitation from the outside. With the extra down in there, you're going to maintain that loft longer because there's more down. So yes, it's going to give you more loft, you know, which equals a couple more degrees of warmth. But I think the main function of adding down is to increase the length of time that you're going to have your full, your full loft as opposed to losing loft with perspiration from your body and precipitation from the outside. So this, like I said, this is four ounces of overstuff. It's a 20 degree, so maybe, you know, a 15 degree quilt, I'd say conservatively maybe a little bit less uh, we'll have to find out so that's just a quick look at um, a couple of new items I have you got the war bonnet superfly with dual pole mods and a custom stove jack to make it a hot tent hot tarp got the added glow wire 
and line locks on the corners with the internal pole mods. Warbonnet does offer, offer a singer, single center pole mod on some of their tarps. Now this tarp did come from eBay and it also came with an internal bug net. It is a military bug net, but uh, which I thought I was really going to like, but it, it's not, you know, custom to the tarp and uh, it really doesn't completely enclose the inner area and it's kind of heavy. So maybe for, uh, you know, car camping or something like that, I might use it, but in general, I doubt I'll use it much. And then you've got the 20 degree Econ Burra incubator, sorry, with four ounces over stuff. And then the hammock gear zippered bug net hammock. Let me give you a wide shot here, guys. Sorry for the video quality on this one. Um, it's really windy, kind of shooting into the sun here. So that kind of makes it a little dark underneath of the tarp. Sorry about that. We move around to this side. Hope you guys can see inside the tarp kind of well at least. There's what the uh, the pullouts on the on the on the hammock look like. Now there are different locations you can use the pullouts on. Right here is the head end, so you can put it right here and right here, so you can have it right by your shoulder pulling it at the shoulder and at the feet or you can do it like I did it and have one at the head end and one at the foot end you know it, there's a lot of versatility with a hammock like this um, the chameleon has it I know I'm pretty sure dream hammocks have it um, comes pretty standard one other little neat item I have that I recently picked up is a light from night eyes it's a rechargeable night eyes light so I can focus in on that here standard USB micro charger here so no more adding you know button cell batteries or anything like that it's really lightweight um, you got bright dim and then flashing good grip good texture I've just got it on a carabiner here with a uh, lash zingit saw shackle so you can put it on your ridge line or you know just clip it to anywhere you want I've got it in here because my uh, night eye spotlight is starting to go dim and uh, there's no way to add a new battery to this. Once it dies, you just got to throw it away. So this is a neat rechargeable option from night eyes. I forget the name of it, but uh, if I can find it, I'll put a link to it in the description. This came from eBay. I mean Amazon, I'm sorry. And then just inside, I've got the... Uh, the hammock gear ridge line loft I guess you'd say I mean you can put a whole entire top quill in here and it weighs virtually nothing you got clips there with the Prusik and then on this side on each end of the hammock there's a piece of cordage a loop and I've got the other end attached to that so there you go guys the 20 degree Econ incubator plus four ounces from Hammock Gear. And the Warbonnet Superfly with dual pole mods and a custom stove jack. I don't know if you can see the inside. There's the door hanging down. Give you a quick walk around, guys. Let me know if you have any questions, any comments. There it is on the back side. Here's the, the dual external panel pulls. So you don't want to use the poles. You can just add some cordage on there, a cord lock or however you want to do it, a line lock, and um, use it just like a regular tarp without the poles all right guys let me know if you have any comments questions i'm chesapeake this is chesapeake hammock and outdoors and i'll see you next time so i try not to trip over my guidelines